Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and squirrels, I almost screwed it up. I was so close. <laughs> I can't get that. <laughs> Alright, today we have Mr. Tim. Tim Tim. Timmy. Not to be confused with Tim. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking so low. Sorry. It's October! I got it! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so it's October. October. It's the first day of October. <laughs> By the time you see this, it'll probably be the second day. And Timmy and I are going to do a Path to Glory campaign with orcs and Eldar. Sneaky, sneaky elves. Pointy ears. Um, for those of you who aren't aware what, uh, yeah, <laughs> they stink funny. <laughs> for those, oh no, that's because we bathe. That's got, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know what Path to Glory is, it's essentially a slow grow campaign. GW made it for uh, Chaos originally, um, and we are going years to use, ago. yeah, years ago, I mean, 2012 maybe? Yeah. Nah, not that far. Mm. Anyway, it was still 7th. Um, but uh, Mini Wargaming made a Path to Glory chart for orcs, and I'm going to be using that. And I kind of took their idea and I made it for a ton of different um, races in 40k. So Eugene Sailor Cult and uh, Space Marines and obviously Eldar, uh, Tau Tyranids. I did Mono Demons and I'm really waiting for somebody to try that because that that list looks that just looks so just stupid. <laughs> It's so, if anybody knows anything about Path to Glory, it's 2d6 charts instead of the d66 with a whole bunch of other stuff, but I'll, I'll link the uh, charts, their Google Drive charts, um, in the description below, so go ahead and check those out. Use them in your games. Let me know if there's anything in there that uh, looks weird, um, just by, via email. I'll put that in the description as well. Or on Facebook. I'll put that in the description as well. Let me put Ooh, everything. Everything in, in the, the description. description. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can test those out. You know, let me know what looks weird, what looks great, etc., etc. But uh, we're going to go ahead and roll up our starting warbands. Um, and we'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, so here are the Path to Glory tables that uh, <clears throat> me and the dudes made. The dude bro guys. I got uh, a bunch of stuff on here. Blood Angels, Space Marines... Um, add mech, CSM, I added a demons one, it's really freaking cool. I wish we had more demon models so we could test it. But, um, I got a whole bunch of retinue, you know, hero, vehicle, and all the different notes, and this, that, and the other thing that we got going on. So, Timmy, you're starting with an Autark. Yes, Autark with Swooping Hawk Wings. Ooh, we got a Flyboy. Alright, so, uh, we're electing to choose which table to roll on. So, do you know which table you want to roll on? First. Um, first, I'm going to roll on the retinue follower table. Okay. So that is a d6 followed by, it's a d66 result. Oh, d66. So just roll one and then the other one. So we are starting with three, and then, and this will be the, uh, the row and then the column. So we've got 33, which is 10 guardians. Yeah, that's easy enough. <clears throat> so with that, obviously that means that you have a 10 model strong unit of guardians so timmy can take a uh, weapons platform if he wants and anything else that comes with guardians i have no idea um and they have a little asterisk asterisk next to them uh if it would focus and that means he can take a wave serpent as a dedicated transport but who puts guardians in a wave serpent i mean come on they're not dire vendors they're just meant to grab objectives and then run to the next one right try and hold that but exactly. a lot of times they don't because they're elves and they're squishy <laughs> T3, yay! Yay! What's so, next? Second one is going to be another retinue. Okay, what do we got? <gasps> Ooh, six. 61, and that is 10 Dire Avengers. Ooh. You've got one hell of a core right now. <laughs> well, they are going into transport. Yeah. <laughs> and again, same thing, you can swap those out for any upgrades, etc., etc. Full frizzle. What's next? Vehicle charts. All right, this is rule number three. We got one after this, so we're hitting vehicle. This is a D6. Wait, you really, uh, two vipers. Do you have two vipers? I do have two vipers. All right, so we've got two vipers coming. Wow, this is actually a decent <laughs> list. I'm kind of scared. And your last roll, what do you got? It's going to be on the hero follower table. All righty. Roll me that six. I knew it. <laughs> I knew you were, I literally, for a minute, I was like, I want to go get the chaos book. Let's Just get, gonna it. get it. All right, so a six is an aspiring follower. So what that means is he gets to roll again, and he gets to reroll further sixes. So that follower gets a Chaos Boon from the Stratagem, um, which is just a, a 2d6, and you reroll spawn them and Demon Hood. So what do you got now? All right. Who's getting really much better at Snish? Four. 
which is an aut. <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so roll me 2d6. Let's see what that altar has. All right, and we got a 10. And a 10 is add one to the character's toughness? Yay! So if you put him on a bike, does that mean he's toughness 5? Because if you put him on a bike, isn't he toughness 4? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's super awesome. Cool. So Timmy's got... We'll figure out what, you, uh, what you're what you going to have... Your Altark with. Let's look at Timmy's terrible uh, chicken scratch. I cannot talk today. Oh my gosh. So we've got an Altark with wings, 10 guardians, 10 dire avengers in a. Wave serpent. Wave serpent. Thank you. I can never remember the name of that thing. Two vipers and an Altark with plus one toughness. So you got a little rivalry already. Mm. Well, the Eldar's all about <laughs> harmony. There are multiple Altarks oh, right. in a battle force. There's one main Altark. And that's my guy with wings. Right. And the other Autark is fine with being subordinate to him. <laughs> He's it's all tougher. about the cohesion. He's it's all about it's, it's all about love and life. You this know? isn't Drakari, I forgot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're not gonna undermine each other. Cool, so let's see what the Orky Orcs get. Alright, it's Orcs time. So we're gonna roll on the retinue table first because I need 20 boys. I mean, come on. So the first die is, and this is the the row, is a one. Oh, give me that one. Give me that one. Six, ooh, 16. I actually don't remember what that is. 10 tank busters. Interesting. So what is going to be choice numero two? Well, I didn't get my 20 boys, so I'm gonna do red new again. <laughs> Alrighty. Huh. We got a two and a three. So because I keep saying that I want 20 boys, I'm not gonna get them. Five knobs, all right, all right. I've got five knobs, we can make that work. All right, break it up, hopefully you know, you get that one hero. That's really great. You roll a six like Tim. <laughs> I'm really like hoping for, I th you know, I think a pain boy after those knobs would be great. Um, but a, a wah banner would be awesome. What about a, a, a beautifully painted weird boy? Actually, a beautifully painted weird boy would be great. Because then I wouldn't have to paint it. Yeah. <laughs> so, huh, two. That sounds like a Big Mac. That's kind of useless. I mean, Death Skulls, that's great. I love Big Macs. <laughs> Scratch that, folks. I'm the worst Death Skull player in the world. I don't have a Big Mac. <laughs> so we're going to reroll that one. Hiya. Two of one. Eh, not with a wall banner. Sweet. I'll take it. Going in the truck. And for the final choice. So I'm going to do retinue. And uh, uh, Timmy's just cursed me because I cursed myself. <laughs> Throughout this whole campaign, he just called that I'm never going to get those 20 boys. And I know it's going to happen. Now that he said that, it's definitely going to happen. So 23 is five knobs. I don't have five more knobs, so I have to reroll that. Let's do... 20 boys! Woo! Tim, you lied! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, I lied. I'm gonna uh, swap out the sluggas with the with shooter boys, but uh, let's go over Timmy's beautiful Eldar over here. What do we got, Tim? We've got, from what we just rolled... All right, so to start off, we have our warlord, is an autark with swooping hawk wings. His name is Baranel. Um, and then my first roll, which was a nice retinue follower table, I got ten guardians, and they're gonna come with this. is It's sort of a, it's not wizardwick right now. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna change it. It has a scatter laser right now, but scatter lasers are poop. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to swap that out for a shuriken cannon. Uh, next, I was a second run new follower, so and I got some of the wonderful Dire Avengers. <laughs> Timmy loves these things. They're so awesome. Uh, hailing from the shrine, they are Knights of Azure, and they shall be taken into battle upon their serpent steed. Oh my god. Because I love those things as well. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then for my third drop, um, I rolled a Viper Squadron. There is going to be another one here. It just hasn't been assembled yet because Vipers have never really been that good, but I have a couple of them that I just never put together. Um, so I'm gonna have another one to go with this. Uh, and they're probably also going to be equipped with uh, Shuriken Cannons and not a Bright Lance like he has there. Uh, and then my final drop was on the Character Follower table and I happen to roll another Autark. <laughs> and he is 
Dulrian, um, and one of the really cool things with him uh, was since I rolled another six, I was able to get a chaos, uh, chaos boon for him, or a boon of Azuron, as I'm going to call it. Oh, there you go. I like um, that. And he has plus one toughness. Which is stupid. Which, yeah, is awesome, <laughs> having higher toughness on the character. It's so funny. And pretty much everybody, aside from the Viper and the uh, weapons platform, is WYSIWYG. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And I just want to point out how far Timmy's painting has come. <laughs> yeah, this was about 10 years ago, and this was very recent. So... Good job, Timmy. <laughs> See, everyone, if you just if you continue to paint, you will get better. Cough, cough, me. Uh, awesome. So, do we have a name for these boys, or are we gonna come up with they're, one later? Um, they're just uh, probably just a sword. Uh, I haven't come up with a name for their sword wind yet. All right. Uh, but they do all hail from the craft world of Alatok, so I will be in game using the craft world Alatok uh, attributes. Awesome. Beautiful. And the gray tide. Oh, green. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, all right. So we got our wonderful war boss here, who will get a uh, paint update. This is Ogzod Grubteef. He is going to be leading this glorious wa. And then over here we've got our knob with wa banner, who's Croc the banner boy. I literally came up with it five minutes ago. Sorry, everyone. Uh, we've got over here Ogzod's bruises, and they're going to be hanging out in their truck. There. Fancy truck, most likely. I don't want to give anything away. And we've got our tank buses over here with two bomb squigs. Uh, they don't have bombs yet. They probably ate them, so we'll have to give them some more bombs. You know, replace the ones that they ate. And they might be in that truck, maybe. Who knows? And then back there, we've got, like I said, the Shooter Boys, which I swapped down um, from the Slugger Chopper Boys. And um, as you can tell, everything here uh, pretty much needs to be actually, yeah, everything needs to be painted. So, I'm gonna walk you guys through my painting stuff throughout the month of October. Uh, I really hope, uh, I'm gonna focus on getting these guys up to a tabletop standard. Um, and then, you know, Timmy and I will, will be uh, recording games while that's happening. So it's not just, you know, me painting for the entire month of October and you guys never seeing a game for Orcs. But uh, I'll probably do some live videos on Facebook of me doing some paintings. Timmy might be over as well while we do that. We'll see. Because, you know, we got to do orc stuff because it's October! Sorry. Um, <clears throat> sorry. At least my, my throat. It's going to be... I'm going to be raw by the end of this, <laughs> the end of this month. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the two Path to Glory armies. Expect a video uh, relatively soon for our first game. Man, I don't even know what we're going to do. We have a whole setting and everything, but we'll get into that when we get into the video. So uh, look forward to more Orktober shenanigans and some live videos of painting and such, and we'll see you guys soon. Game on. Game on.